we can see like two villains, I think, from each Spider Man because math wasn't for you. Two times three is six. Sinister six. So I think we could have potentially, say, um, for Tom Holland's universe, get uh, Matt Gargan, who um, he showed up for a little bit in Spider Man Homecoming, but Matt Gargan is the Scorpion. Uh, you get the Vulture, and played by Michael Keaton, um, and then go into uh, Tobey Maguire's Spider Man. You have Alfred Molina, and there's been kind of speculation as to where um, the new. Why am I forgetting his name right now? But the Morbius movie that's going to be coming out. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I totally forgot about that one too. Why am I forgetting the actor's name right now? He's the Singer of 30 Seconds to Mars also. I'm hating myself for forgetting this. Oh, uh, oh God. I almost said Jay Leno, and I was like, that's not it. Jared Leto. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, because there's, there's kind of wonders about like where that really goes because mm-hmm. we had Michael Keaton's Vulture show up uh, at the end of that trailer, but the poster behind has the Tobey Maguire costume of Spider-Man and like saying murderer. So, I don't know. I think you could potentially see, say, uh, Morbius and uh, Alfred Molina be the two Tobey Maguire villains, right? And Morbius just wasn't somebody we had seen yet. Mm -hmm. Um, And then with Andrew Garfield, you have Electro. And I know they were talking about bringing in Kraven the Hunter. So, you could Mm -hmm. have from that universe, essentially. So. Yeah, there is still Rhino too, if you wanted. Oh yeah, there is Rhino as well. Yep. So, there you go. Because he he was kind of the big one that was teased at, throughout Spider Man Two. Yeah, so it, it would, might fit a little better with Electro, but yeah, you could also have without introducing uh, entirely new characters. Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess the Amazing series is actually a little bit different in the way that none of the villains actually died, right? Like. In no. all the Tobey Maguire movies, they all died except for the Sandman. But yeah, so Norman Osborn and Green Goblin died. Uh, Doc Ock died. Um, then going to Spider Man 3, Venom died. Harry Osborn died. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Flint Marco, Sandman was the only one who survived. Go to the Amazing series, uh, the Lizard survived. So he could be another potential yeah. as well. Um, then you get, yeah. Uh, Dane DeHaan's Green Goblin wasn't killed, um, though I doubt that's who they would be bringing back. <laughs> well, um, well, it wasn't the best Green Goblin, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the best, and I, I'm guessing that like with the MCU and you know it being such a massive universe, Norman Osborn does play a big role outside of Spider-Man in the Marvel comics. Mm-hmm. So I could see them wanting to utilize him in some other way. Yeah. Um, but yes, we did see him kind of explode but there was not really a confirmation i guess that jamie fox's electro is dead so, no 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 because he's um like he, he's really just kind of an entity now like he, he's made exactly, up of electricity yeah. so it, it it's more like you said yeah he just exploded but we we don't see a body or or anything it's possible yeah. he's living in the grid of new york and just doesn't have enough power or enough of yeah, just being can't to put himself be together, back or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah so okay so let's say doc ock morbius electro uh rhino vulture scorpion it's a pretty good lineup actually mm-hmm. so yeah no that'd be pretty solid for sure so yeah uh i know some people may say well what about venom i don't think we're going to be seeing that with the mcu just yet not not because uh, so because sony's still doing their thing with venom right yeah and i'm sure the mcu like marvel studios would love to do kind of their own thing if they can so you know give mm-hmm. it a few years as much as they are filming venom 2 right now um you'd have to give it a bit of time to differentiate but yeah yeah for sure I don't know. That's the only sad part about that. I love that movie and I'm excited for the second one, like for Venom. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I would like to see what happens with the MCU. 